G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm a bit excited today. We're trying something new. As you know, on my channel, I generally am doing something new. That was, what, a disaster. Today, um, or yesterday, should I say, we made up this waiting box that uh, has got um, a Shimano well, my tackle box there, a bucket on it, um, etc. Because we're going to be heading out onto the flats here north of Adelaide to um, to try and catch some yellowfin whiting, possibly flathead. Not sure what else we can get out here, salmon trout, tommies, etc. Uh, but we're just using lures. We've got some top uh, top water lures, uh, some divers. So we've got our uh, our slippery dog. Um, 80 slippery dog uh, floating lure that's on the um, shimano raider one to three with the ultegra reel six pound braid eight pound leader but yeah let's get out there and uh, see what we can find it's an absolute stunning day absolutely stunning day it is um, top of 27 degrees no wind it wasn't hugely warm overnight um, it's early december so these conditions should only get better as we get into the summer but uh, let's hit it really uh, hoping we can come away with some fish today. We've just walked out um, down the boat ramp. There is a bit of a creek here, which I've just walked to the end of. We're fishing the last of the, uh, the last of the outgoing tide. I'm hoping this uh, bucket is going to uh, hold. First things first, we'll just give it a little bit of a pull. Seems to be floating pretty well, reasonably well, at least moving, it's not too hard to move it. It has got two 1.5 litre water bottles in the bottom so not really expecting it to uh, float perfectly but we'll uh, we'll drink those during the day and go from there it's ankle deep water here now I've been told to fish between ankle deep and knee heck knee deep essentially so uh, we might um, go out to that about knee deep or calf deep water and just see you know what we can find there's a little bit of weed but most of it's uh, on the ground which is good so hopefully we won't um, pick up too much with the top water got this young female blue swimmer crab down here pretty aggressive like i was just fishing i wasn't even going anywhere near her and she keeps getting closer and closer the floating basket idea isn't going all that well so i'm gonna have to make some modifications for next time but what i am a little bit excited about is that we're getting a few follows they're not big well not they they don't look big in the in the water but there's three or four of them and they are following and they're quite close to where i am can't see them following now so they might have moved on a little bit but uh good signs very encouraging to at least get a bite really i'm finding it very hard to see this uh slippery dog this is the 80 floating slippery dog we may need to change to a 60 if they are smaller ones to be honest I, I don't even care if i catch something legal today i just just want to practice so that in the over this summer get this sorted out that's another thing i need to do i can see that there's uh water in this so I'm gonna have to make sure i get that nice and dry when i get home obviously come up through where i've cable tied which is fine all things we're we're learning and all right guys we've got our first tiny little fish finally one of these guys took it tiny little mullet nowhere near legal mullet is here he's about half the legal size so we'll let him go it's so beautiful out here today it really is so beautiful out here today it's supposed to be 27 there's a really slight southwesterly i think i don't know if you can see this one here that might not even be a blue swimmer but um there's plenty of these uh plenty of these gray gray holes i'll just lift that one up down there you can see that's a female but again you know really quite small you'd be hoping uh, obviously they get a bit bigger over over the next few months i don't know if you can see this but there is like literally a tiny school of mullet right in front of me and they are just eating up obviously the salmon oil that's coming out of this um they're, they're literally like open mouths looking coming swimming towards <laughs> they're swimming away now but they are obviously loving the salmon oil stuff but i don't know where the a the bigger mullet if i would be happy to catch look at them here they're tiny there's some bigger slightly bigger ones but not legal out the back and and um you know where their mums and dads are and or 
why it's not working for the whiting because I'm not getting any interest at all from the whiting. We're a fair way out now. Uh, we're still at that uh, middle of calf height. So yeah, still hoping to have some success here. But anyway, we've got the uh, slippery dog back on. We've tried a few other lures uh, without much success again. Really the only excitement we've seen is that, um, is those mullet around with this salmon oil. Here's hoping we can get some whiting interested as well. Just another small, oh, there he goes. Just another small uh, mullet. It was right at my feet. I'd actually even stopped whining and he just grabbed it. I don't know. I guess uh, expecting success with whiting on this first trip was probably somewhat overrated or overestimated. Not sure how much further I need to wade out. If I need to go out any further at all, again, I'm yeah, about, about three quarter shin height. So I think I'm in the right depth. Just gotta find them, I guess. Don't know what sort of ground I'm looking for. Are they in the weedier ground? Are they in the straight sandy ground? Should I be over there? Should I be in here? Maybe we'll try over there. Just don't know how soft this all is through here. Yeah, see that gets super soft and you can't almost walk through it. You gotta sort of stick to these channels because they've got the harder sort of ground. Well, we're at the bottom of the tide. I'm as far out as I think I'm going to go. It's hard work for not a lot of result. I guess when you get one, the rush is going to make up for it, we hope. We'll keep persevering. You know, I've just turned on because I've actually had a couple of little swirls around that. Just out here towards, I guess, I don't know, you probably can't see the guy in the high vis, just in that direction. Again, I don't know if it was the mullet or seemed to be a little bit possibly bigger than, oh, that's weed, but seemed to be possibly bigger than those mullet. That wind has picked up just a touch. The water feels warmer, so that could be a good sign. The sun is probably at about 12 o'clock. Sometimes my casts, I need a bait caster out here. Sometimes my casts are too far. Don't want to be on top of that weedy there. I want to stay, stick to this channel. I've got a bit excited, guys. I'm not going to lie. Well, hey, guys, that was, what, a disaster. The box, I was all excited at the start of the video to get out there, but it didn't really do what it needed to do. It didn't float. And unfortunately, uh, with the holes and the cable ties here, the water came up, so it, it just inundated all my lures, which I had to then, you know, pull out, wash with fresh water and dry again. The bucket was the same situation. And during the middle of the day, with my GoPro um, clamp here, um, had the GoPro on it in the media mod with the microphone receiver on it, and it actually tipped backwards and tipped it into the water. Thankfully, the GoPro survived, but the receiver didn't. So that's been sent off to D1 Store in Melbourne for uh, a repair quote. Um, if you've got any advice on how to improve this bad boy, drop it below. Really appreciate all the guys on the SA Whiting Top, uh, top Water Whiting page on Facebook. And uh, yeah, if you learned something, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.